What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my mom's channel. I am here again to do another kind of beginner video. That I'm going to be showing a couple of different beginner techniques that you can use while I'm decorating a floating envelope. So this envelope I'm going to be direct, uh, decorating on both sides and it will eventually get paper clipped in um, to something else. But this is going to be a two part video. So on the first part, I'm going to be using a couple of things here. Um, obviously, I've got my ink to ink the edges. I have a corner rounder that I'm going to show everyone how to use. And then I also have a corner punch that I'm going to be using for the edges of these ticket stubs. So let's go ahead and clear a couple of these things out so we have a little bit of space. First thing I want to do today is I want to make a tuck spot on this envelope here. So what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to be gluing down this edge and this edge down here to be able to glue down and make a little tuck spot. So we're going to grab a glue. And we'll just start gluing. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone's staying healthy, safe, and entertained. I'm here to try and help that entertainment just a little bit uh, before I head up to Columbus for about a week or so. However, I will be back, but for right now, I want to get a couple more videos in before I do that. So my brother uh, just got back up to Ohio, which is great. We have the whole family here now. Um, I said in the last video that I had that we were doing, we were doing a challenge. If we could get a hundred likes by uh, last Friday, we would be doing a, a whole family live stream. Unfortunately, we didn't get quite to 100. I think we got to about uh, 60 or 70, which is awesome still. So happy that uh, my mom got all those likes on the video, obviously. But uh, don't worry, we're still going to be doing that video, uh, even though we didn't get to the goal, because we just think it's going to be a lot of fun. And my brother agreed to it, which is, which is awesome. So, all right, we've got this glued down. We have that tuck spot. Now what I want to do... Since we're going to be decorating both sides and the orientation of the envelope is going to be horizontal and not vertical, um, I'm just trying to figure out what I kind of want to do on both sides. So we have this tuck. I'm going to want to make something that I can tuck in to both sides. Um, so while I think about that, we'll put this up here for a second, and we're just going to go ahead and show everyone how to use the... Um, Edge rounder. So um, I'm going to be doing it upside down. Um, my mom said always do it upside down so you can see uh, where your paper is inside of the device. So there's just a little slot here. There's a couple different options on uh, what kind of edge you want to create. She did the first one already right here uh, with this one. So we're going to continue to do that on all four sides. And I don't know if you can see that in there, but the paper is in there and squared. And all you got to do is that. That's all you got to do is just push down and now you have a rounded edge. So we'll do that with the rest of the sides here. And we will have everything completely rounded off. Uh, she might have used a different one for this. I have a feeling that she actually did. So I believe she used this one instead, actually. Oops. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and fix that real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use the other one real quick because I just realized that she used a different one, which is fine. We'll just go ahead and fix it. I'm still using the right one. 
All right, so that's kind of how you use an edge rounder and it makes everything look a little bit nicer, not so square. Um, not everything is the same. So for this, I think I'm gonna wanna put this on the other side, but for right now, we'll put that aside and we will move on to the ticket stubs. So these, as you can see, there's a little bit of gold up in the corner. So we're gonna wanna just, uh, you know, cut that part off. And instead of using scissors where you're not going to get a totally round cut because um, scissors aren't perfect, what we're going to do is we're actually going to just use the edge of the corner punch and line it up so that when it goes through, we have a completely rounded cut which is awesome. It's not perfect. There's still some gold there, but it's okay because nothing here has to be perfect. Everything's different. And we're just going to go ahead and do that on all four corners of both of these tickets. This is, again, the same digital. And I, for the life of me, I cannot remember who this digital is from uh, my mom. We'll, uh, we'll put it in the description below, of course. Um, but these owls are so cool. And, you know, I kind of want to stay on brand with what I'm doing here. So, but they are, they are very cool. And it's been very fun to be able to use it and create a bunch of different stuff with it. It's been a, it's been a ton of fun. So, uh, my mom is currently, she would have said hi already. She's currently downstairs with one of the puppers. Uh, Myla uh, didn't want to eat for me, so she's downstairs kind of trying to get her to eat. So now we have kind of all of our pieces here. And normally if I was in a live, I would, I would ask, you know, what do you want me to do with these pieces? Because, you know, I'm not the most, oof, how do you put it, um, artistic, <laughs> I guess is the way you'd put it. Uh, first things first. Um, going forward, I did forget to ink the edges on this, but that's okay because they are already kind of brown and my mom did a really good job of cutting it out. So, uh, do, 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 do. we will just go ahead and ink the edges of the envelope real quick. Uh, while I think of the next thing that we are going to do. It is a very, very, uh. nasty day here. Um, the last couple of days have been kind of blah as far as rain is concerned here in the uh, Buckeye State. Uh, you know, I guess uh, I'm kind of used to, to, you know, the occasional rain down in Florida, but uh, normally, you know, I don't, we don't get a ton of persistent rain. It's usually a day or two of, you know, very heavy downpour and then we don't, we don't get rain again for a while. So, um, and it's, and it's a little chilly up here today in the thirties and forties. So we have our one tuck spot. And I think what I want to do next is I want to do, 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 do. let's see. I want to, I kind of want to create something that's going to go in that tuck spot and I want to use these little owls and they're really cute. Um, little owls and leaves here. And I think what I want to do as pardon the ambulance or, or police car that just came flying by. Um, what I think I want to do is I am actually going to use this and I'm going to use these pieces, I believe. Let's see what we can do here. See, <laughs> this is where I'm getting kind of, kind of stuck as far as what I could do next. All right. Scrap that entire idea. We're going to move to the back. And so we're going to keep this open. Uh, we're not going to glue it down or anything. 
And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use the stub, ticket stubs. I know I wanted to use these on this side. Um, I think what I'm going to do, ugh. Guys, I'm stuck, can you believe it? Ugh, ugh, I know. Um, so let's, let's see, all right. We're gonna put something here. Because I want to, I want to, want it to be kind of cute if you open it up or if you keep it closed. So what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and use one of the owls. I want to keep this one for for something else, but I think I can fit that one there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put an owl on that <laughs> because it'll keep us moving in the correct direction, which is completion. My mom would probably be like, you can do whatever you want, but uh, I'm just kind of stuck. I don't really want to stop and wait because, you know. All right. So that cute little guy is going to sit right there. And I think it would be kind of cute if we put him on the other side, actually. I kind of like that. All right. You know what? We're not going to use those as a... Uh, Something to put in the tuck. We're just gonna we're gonna use these because these guys are really cute. I want them to be facing each other, and we're gonna put him. We're gonna put him right there. So this is obviously this is just a decoration uh, of an envelope. Um, there's nothing necessarily specific that you have to do with these. The only thing that I really wanted to to definitely show was you know creating this tuck spot which. It's going to look really, really cute once it's, you know, once I can be uh, done with everything else. Um, and then obviously just just creating different little things and, and how to round corners and, and cut edges and, and, and just a lot of beginner stuff that's really easy to do that makes your work look really, really cool. So I think the final thing that I'm going to do here for part one is... Because I have something for the back uh, for part two that's going to be like a big part of part two. What I want to do is I am going to create this as something that I can tuck in this way. And to do that, I am going to bring in the good old handy dandy uh, crocodile, the big bite, or as I like to call it, the medieval torture device. So um, I am going to eyelet this. I love eyelets. I love eyelets a lot. Um, let's see. There they are. So I will have those there. So let's just go ahead and... I don't really like this 19 up in the corner. So I think I'm just going to punch through the 19. If I can get it perfect. I think I've made a huge mistake. So we're not gonna be able to eyelet this, but that's okay. Um, I, I totally, totally forgot that my mom said, don't punch too close to the edges. Uh-oh. All right, but that's okay. That is okay. So we're gonna keep it going with twine. Really love the, the twine look. So um, we could potentially eyelet this. I'm still going to try because we're not gonna be able to put the eyelet through and make it, or we're not gonna be able to put the twine through that well. So let's just try. You know what, what's the harm? We can still try it. Worst case scenario, we just use a different part of it. Ha, it did work, cool. It's very close to the edge, but that is okay. So we'll move the big bite out of the way and we'll just go ahead and do a little twine in here. And we will feed this part through and make a little knot. Oh no! <laughs> yep, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. 
Oh no. All right, so everyone's probably looking at me like, no, Nick, you shouldn't have done that. You knew it was gonna happen. And in my head, I knew it was going to happen. Oh no. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Ideas, ideas, ideas. How can we, so here, this is turning, this is kind of turned into a, hey, how can we salvage this project sort of thing? This is definitely going to be the last thing we do for part one because the video is getting a little long for a two-parter. Well, at least for me anyway. I like to keep it kind of short for beginners. Um, yeah. Uh, well, my mom just came into the room, so she's going to probably tell me, oh yeah, that was a terrible idea. Oh no. Uh, so what here's what happened. Oh. Um, yeah. And I tried to pull the twine tight and it just ripped it out. Yep. So this has turned into a, how can we salvage this project yes. type of video? Okay. Uh, we, yes, yes. However, um, that's very close to the edge. Okay. Well, we can cut it down. I was thinking just cutting it this way see. and then rounding off the corners again. Yep. And yep. then act, cause I didn't want the 19 up there. Oh. There was a little 19 and okay. I didn't really want it. Yeah. So I wanted to just cut through it, but it was too close to the yep. edge. I didn't even think yeah. about it. So you this is just what it. we're going to do. Do you want to use a bigger pair of scissors so you can cut in one fell swoop? No, it's okay. Nothing's perfect. Uh, this is the last part of part one. Okay. Um, I'm hoping he hasn't promised you anything I can't deliver on. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I haven't promised anything. I did promise that we're going to be doing the family live stream, though. I did say, even oh, though, you did? even though we didn't, okay. even though we didn't, uh, I did tell them that it's going to be a little while, though, because I yes. have to leave for a little while. But okay, nope, not that one. No, oh, is that is that yep. the one you used? Yeah. Okay. I, well, you had used it, and then the other ones didn't look the same, so I figured you used that one. Oh, did I? I think so. <laughs> you guys so glad that this is uh so organized and well thought out it's okay oh, excuse me because that's what makes it the most fun oh look at that it's just a little smaller so this is so this is what i've done oh, nice. <laughs> so these guys are on this side uh this is the tuck spot and this is going to go in the tuck spot oh okay for a second i thought you had the owls on upside down on the back not that it no, would matter because it's art but all right so Take two with the device. <laughs> Maybe do the other side? No, because I'm going to tuck it in this way. And yeah. I can't, oh, well, maybe that is yeah. a good idea. And so then you have more empty space on that side. It, you can get farther away from the edge. All right, so let's actually do this correctly this time. There you go. Look at that. It's not going to tear off this Are you time. putting an eyelet in? Yes. Okay. That's the whole, that was the whole, it, the eyelet tore oh, it out. Uh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Yep. So that eyelet went bit the dust, but that's okay. <laughs> Poor eyelet. Uh, we still have a piece of twine. For about two minutes, I was uh, sitting there and telling everybody, oh, I wish you guys were here because uh, <laughs> I don't have ideas. <laughs> All right. I heard you struggling a little bit, so I rushed back up. Did uh, did the Myla actually behave? No, we're having some Myla issues uh, today. I'm, I think she might have an upset tummy. Oh, it's okay. She'll get better. Did you want to ink that? Um, No. Okay. I like it white because this is going to be like a little tag that someone can write, write in. Okay. Okay. So. You still don't want to pull with all your might. And if you pull each string individually, like at the same time, it, it helps <clears throat> tighten it without okay. tearing. So there we go. I am going to cut this a little bit because I want it to be pretty short. Do you want those pieces of twine? I'm taking these scissors back from you. I'm sorry, were those not supposed to be used for cutting twine? No. I'm so sorry. I won't stab you this time. Okay, did you want to use these pieces of twine? Uh, you can throw them back there in my pile of okay. tiny scraps. So this, tuck. Nice. It's cute. It's cool. So this is going to conclude part one. I know the video was a little long for a beginner video, and we still have another whole part to go, maybe two more parts, depending on what we're going to do. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so thank you everyone for, for watching and putting up with my uh, crazy antics and not being able to uh, figure out what to do. I promise in the next video, I know exactly what we're going to do, and it's going to go a lot more, a uh, lot smoother. 
Um, and it'll be really, really cool as we start to decorate a little bit more on this side. So like the video if you like it. Uh, definitely subscribe. And also, I forgot to say that if you do like these envelopes, these envelopes are available in a lot of 10 uh, on my mom's uh, Etsy site. Um, they're really cool and you can use them for a lot of different purposes and uh, they're just, they're real cute. So um, if you're interested, you can definitely go check that out. Uh, she'll have it listed below. Um, and yeah, so we will see you in part number two of the video. Until then, take care everybody and stay safe.